In this video, let's derive the reduction formula for the integral of sine to the nth power of x with respect to x. First of all, let's call this integrand here f of x. So we see that f of x is not just x to a power. f of x is actually equal to a function of x to a power. So because of this, it's not possible to just use a standard power integral to formulate the result that we want. But we do have the two principal methods of integration, which is a substitution or integration by parts. We'll tackle this problem with integration by parts. And to do that, we'll need to separate the integrand into two parts. So I can do this by writing the sine of the nth power of x equal to, using our index laws, I can separate the power. So sine to the n minus 1 power of x by the sine of x and integrate both sides. So now we have two parts. So the rule for integration by parts is the integral of u dv equals u times v minus the integral of v du. So in our problem here, let's call this part the sine to the n minus 1 power as u. Let's call this part sine of x dx as dv. So we've got our two respective parts, u equals sine to the n minus 1 power of x. And to get du, we need to take the derivative of this. So we have du equals, now the derivative of sine to the n minus 1 power, the power comes down, we copy the sine, we subtract a power, so it becomes n minus 2, sine to the n minus 2 of x, and then we have to apply the chain rule to the sine of x. So with our example function up here, if we take the derivative of f of x, that's equal to n by the g of n minus 1 power of x, to bring down the power, subtract 1 from the power, and then we need to multiply by the derivative of g. So the derivative of the sine of x is equal to cosine of x, and we complete by writing dv on the end, and of course we have dv equals the sine of x dx, and to get v we need to integrate. So we have v equals the integral of sine of x is equal to negative cosine of x. Okay, so we have all of the parts, now we just need to apply the integration by parts rule. So the integral of sine to the n minus 1 power of x by sine of x is equal to u times v, so u is equal to sine of n minus 1, sine to the n minus 1 power by v, which is negative cosine of x, minus the integral of v, which is negative cosine of x, by du, which is n minus 1, by the sine to the n minus 2 power of x, and I'm quickly running out of room here, by cos of x dx. So this should have been a dx, not a dv. Okay, let's tidy this second term up a little bit. We have a negative outside, we have a negative here. So let's take this negative outside and turn the outside sign into a positive. We have a coefficient n minus 1 here, we can take that out the front by the integral. Cosine by cosine we can write as cosine squared of x and then by the sine to the n minus 2 power of x dx. Okay now by the Pythagorean identity I can rewrite the cosine squared of x as 1 minus the sine squared of x. We'll copy down this term, the sine to the n minus 2 power of x. Let's just work with this integrand for now. So expanding this term into the parentheses, we will get sine to the n minus 2 power of x by, oh sorry, minus sine to the nth power of x. Okay, let's copy the remaining parts of the integral. And now I can simply break this integral into two integrals. So we have n minus 1 by the integral of sine to the n minus 2 of x dx minus, and remember the coefficient has to be multiplied in, so it's minus n minus 1 
by the integral of sine to the nth power of x and I'm running out of room again dx. Okay so let's not forget the front term and let's bring that down. So we have negative sine to the n minus 1 power of x by cosine of x and the left hand side we can write as sine to the nth power of x dx. So just combining the two parts together that we broke up in the beginning. Alright, what can we do now? Well, what about let's take this part to the left hand side. So we have the integral of sine to the nth power of x dx plus n minus 1 by the sine of the nth power of x dx equals negative sine to the n minus 1 power of x by cos of x plus n minus 1 by the integral of sine of the n minus 2 power of x dx. Okay, so we have a 1 here and a negative 1, so 1 and a negative 1 cancels. So on the left hand side we're left with n by the integral of sine to the nth power of x dx equals the above, I'll just write it out instead of saying it all the time. Okay, the final step is to divide both sides by n to just leave us with the sine of the nth power of x dx on the left hand side equals negative of 1 on n by the sine of the n minus 1 power, sine to the n minus 1 power of x by cosine of x plus n minus 1 divided by n by the integral of the sine to the n minus 2 power of x dx. And that is it. The derivation of the reduction formula for the integral of sine to the nth power of x. If you found this tutorial helpful, please hit that like button and please subscribe for more videos that may help you with your studies. Feel free to ask me any questions using the comments section below. I'll try to answer them. I'd appreciate any tips or donations as these will help me a lot in making future videos for you and the instructions to donate will be in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.